were you aware that persona, um, people's perception of you, the fans and everything, might be wondering what's going on if Marx left two groups? Um, or did you just think, not a just shots, I'll look for another one? Yeah, so um, it's so interesting. You know, you have, I think you have various types of personalities, right? Yeah. Where, you know, you have the you have the guy who cares about the white sneakers. They got to stay white, you know. I, everything has to be just, just clean and perfect, you know. You have the guy who, you know, you have to, the people, everyone has to know he wrote the song. You know what I'm saying? Pat me on the back, you know. <laughs> I'm the guy in the studio. It's the song. I care about the song. I want to write. I want to write the best song possible. I want. I want this. I want you to love this song. Mm -hmm. And so many people told me <clears throat> that I need to praise myself more or put out my accolades, tell the world what I've done, because a lot of people don't know. And the, the point I'm getting, I'll, I'll get to this point in a second here, is that like you know, like I'm the first to do to do a duet with Baby, Beyonce. Nobody. A lot of people don't know I did After All Is Said and Done with Beyonce. I sang that record with Beyonce. A lot of people don't know I wrote a record for Babyface to sing, the songwriter of songwriters. I wrote a song for it, you know? A lot of people don't know I, I sang Michael Jackson, all these different people. They don't know I've, I've done a lot of things. Here's the point I'm making. <clears throat> when people are perceiving me like, damn, you got kicked out of voice, man. Damn, you got kicked out. What's wrong with you, man? Like, you, mm -hmm. you clearly got to be the problem. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here going, well, first, I wasn't even paying attention to what anyone was thinking. I know what happened. I was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was devastated as to what happened to you. A lot of people don't know. I, with Nate, put Boyz II Men together. A lot of people sitting here thinking Nate did it. Yeah, that's not true. Nate knows, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I never really cared too much in the sense that I don't give a damn. I just wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm to this perception that people had of me, which is why I'm so now vocal mm. about telling my story. But the one thing I'm loving is that when I am organically just telling you my story, you then go, oh, oh my God, I didn't know that. Instead of me saying, hey, is that what you're thinking of me? Let me, <laughs> let, no, no, I gotta, no, I gotta tell you what happened because I don't want you to think that of me anymore. I, you know. I, I never had that. I think that would be exhausting, mm. you know, to, but yes, I appreciate your platform. I really do that people are catching on to the truth because I get to tell it, you know, especially because you want to, you want to know and you want to hear, you know? So, yeah. So let's, let's clear up a few things already. I didn't leave voice to men. I didn't leave as yet. <clears throat> I wasn't kicked out of voice to men. I was kicked out of as yet. And for all those different details I just shared. With yeah. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did then Columbia come around? Because um, somebody has said, tell Mark <laughs> that we can't get Chocolate City um, on Spotify. <laughs> and we ain't happy I got about that. <laughs> Sorry, okay, Chocolate so Mood on, so on Spotify. Okay. And she ain't happy about that. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> So that, right, but that's so, something they need to. That can you answer the question? So how come it's not on Spotify? Because people are unhappy that the, the albums. Okay, I, I I definitely can. Okay, so Columbia Records owns the uh, the masters for one. Yeah, I've written majority of that CD, and I am in the process of getting my rights to be able to put it all on Spotify. Okay. okay. That's what that's the reason you can't get it right this second, but you'll okay. get it. I promise you'll get it shortly. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's good. And uh I think your previous question is how did Columbia Records come about? Yeah, yeah. Good, good one. So Adjet is voting me out of the group in a conference call with LA Reed. LA Reed is not wanting this to happen, but Jackie <laughs> McCorn is wanting this to happen. Oh. Bad. Okay. <laughs> I am I get kicked out. Kenny Face calls me, tells me to come down to Brandon's way. 
And he says to me, he says, Mark, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come do this MTV Unplugged with me. So I went on a miniature tour with Babyface. I did MTV Unplugged. And I did, every time you do MTV, you had to do BET. You had mm. to, right? <laughs> if you're a black artist, let's be clear. So we did MTV first in New York. And then we went down to DC and did MTV especially. Benny Medina, the manager of Mogul, was managing Babyface at the time. Okay, okay. And Benny approached me and said, I want to manage you. Wow. Yeah, so Benny became my manager. And he and I flew to New York. And um, him with, who I have to give major credit to, uh, Fred Davis, uh, a lot of people don't know Fred Davis is the son of Clive Davis, the mogul. Oh, wow. Fred Davis was an uh, entertainment attorney. Him and Benny Medina took me into Sony, and I sat in front of Tommy Matola. Wow. And Tommy said, with a cigar, what can I do? What can we do here, Sony family, uh, to make sure you're part of this family before you walk out the door? <laughs> and they made me a millionaire in three days and i did this major deal with columbia records um with donnie einer who was the president of columbia um and that's how it happened that's how it happened through benny medina freddie davis uh excuse me fred davis and tommy matola i signed this deal major deal with um with columbia the people might say benny medina was the head of um black music at warner brothers karen white um I'll be sure. He also then did Fresh Prince of Bel Air Bel Air with Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then he also went to manage J Lo. So Benny is 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 you know I mean, he's, he's people we don't see him do talks and yeah. stuff, but he's a he's a he's a big Super name when it comes yeah it's when it comes to black black music and stuff. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. Tommy, you know you know he you know he he went toe to toe with Michael Jackson, so he's you know he, he he's got his legacy there, but. I'm thinking Benny says he wants to manage you. That that that's that's from the pit of despair. You're getting Benny saying, "Hey, I'm willing to manage." That's just, you brushed over it as if, yeah, here's the thing. But <laughs> did you not think about wait, this, what me? Why? What? What? <laughs> so I've yeah, well, set yeah, up I, who Benny Medina is, and so now you're just talking about him as if it's just no big deal. I mean, did you know who he was? Well, yeah, of course. Of okay, course. He, at the time. <laughs> Of course. At the time, he was managing J Lo. He was managing uh, J Lo, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, Diddy. And, uh, he was managing Diddy, J Lo, and Babyface. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, of course, I know who he was right. And I was, you know, to give it more enthusiasm, if you will, I was <laughs> blown away. You know what I'm saying? I was just like. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, really? You know? And uh, yeah. And I, you know, the stars lined up. I just had power over on top of power on top of power to uh, make that deal happen, you know? And uh, and it's interesting because I had, I just got kicked out of As Yet. Funny enough, I was just nominated for a Grammy with As Yet when I closed the deal with Columbia. Wow. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over 100 artists that we've interviewed. So please check out the videos. Remember to like, share, and not unsubscribe. But better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>